Hello everyone, this is Jason Mutlak from StellarMate. In Case Stars version 3.5.3, .3, we uh, reintroduced the dark library tool. And so you can find it in the capture module right here in the lower right corner. So the dark library is a way for you to reduce the noise in your captured frames. It's not for processing. It is just for use in focus, align, and guide modules. And especially it's important in guiding because for our uncooled guide cameras, they tend to have a lot of bad pixels. And these bad pixels can sometimes fool the guiding algorithm into recognizing them as stars when they are not. So it is best to have a, a clean image as much as possible. And with the new tool it reintroduced in KSTARS 3.53, we have defect maps. And so in here, let's just uh, take a, a quick overview of this new tool. So here we have three tabs, the darks. This is where you generate your darks using some um, criteria like the exposure range, the temperature range, especially if your camera is cooled, the pinning and how many frames per capture. And then Equus would take all these captures and then average them and then save them as a master dark frame. For uncooled cameras, like my Lodestar X2 camera, I would prefer to use the defect maps. And this is here, you select your preference. Would you want to denoise the image by means of dark frame subtraction or defect map? And so for defect map to work, we need actually to capture a master dark frame. But especially for uncooled cameras, we need to have a long exposure, maybe like 10 seconds or even up to 20 seconds um, exposure to, to uh, highlight all the bad and cold pixels that occur in this image. So I will go ahead and specify um, the exposure range from 10 to 10. And the count is to five, so it's gonna take about a minute. And I'll skip the video until we get um, all the frames. All right, so we have our master dark frame and immediately you can see that we have lots of hot pixels. Uh, the usual dark frame subtraction might not work very well with these kind of images. So let's just uh, head over to defect maps and automatically at the default threshold, it should pick up most of the bad pixels. And if you click here on enable, you can toggle on and off the detection and see whether it's really picking them up or not. Here you can set the threshold. This is to control whether to include more pixels, but you risk also including more random noise into the hot pixel uh, detection algorithm. Similarly also for the cold pixels. So cold pixels uh, are not as common in, in these uh, scenarios at hot, at hot pixels, uh, but you can also play around with these setting so let's just increase it to like for example 85 and click generate map and here you can see it highlighted a few more pixels let's click reset to go back to the default setting so after you're happy with your result then you can click the save button here to save the dark frame and of course if you have multiple dark frames uh, you can create a defect map for each uh, finally, in the last uh, tab here, this is like the database view where you can see all your darks and you can uh, set how long they are valid for. So the default value is 30 days. So after 30 days, they are no longer valid uh, and no longer used and need to recreate. Them. You, of course, can uh, increase this uh, or configure all the settings here. Okay, so let's go and uh, put this to the test. Uh, let's go to the focus modulo and let's capture like a two second exposure for um, for this camera so okay so it's already selected here so let's just take a two second exposure and there we go and you can already see that the 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 algorithm here already picked up these hot pixels at stars so these are now fake stars it's not supposed to happen so Let's just simply select dark frame here and click 
capture again and right now just like magic the frame became very smooth without any dark pixels and we don't have any fake stars to detect so this is very helpful in three modules it's in focus you can just click dark frame it's an align you can just click the dark here and it's in guide and you can go back to the the dark frame and um, and select which one you prefer if you go to your cooled camera you can select prefer darks and here you can also generate a whole set of, of dark frames master dark frames that are used for align uh, guide and focus modules i hope this was useful um, clear skies and take care